Friday. They had a great weekend. For oh, good weather. Yep. Good weather. It's the breeze. I feel like it just yeah. kind of makes it feel a little bit more like fall. That's going to be around again for tomorrow. And then the winds will start to kind of taper off a little bit for the rest of the week. But all in all, we're looking really nice. We do have Tropical Storm Oscar really popped up pretty quickly over the weekend. It was a hurricane at landfall for parts of Cuba. Now it's kind of slowed its forward motion. I know it looks a little too close for comfort and everyone's asking, are you Sure, this isn't headed our way. I promise this is not headed our way. It's going to take a hard turn to the right here. You see how everything's really clear here through Florida. High pressure is a control. It's going to make a hard turn off to the north and east, and then it's going to continue out into the Atlantic. So it is moving off to the north northwest for now. 40 mile per hour wind, so it's really decreased its intensity over the past 24 hours. And just to show you, there are no computer models that have anything headed our way. It's almost impossible for it to head our way as that high pressure and kind of a salt bound is going to force it off to the north and east. So no tropical weather in the long term forecast going forward. We have tropical storm Oscar. We don't really see anything else popping up at this point. Again, hurricane season does go until the end of November. But as you get later and later, these fronts continue to act in our in our in our favor and kind of keep everything at bay. We had a quick shower move through downtown Fort Myers, and that's going to be the trend as we head through tomorrow as well. Quick showers, as long as these winds stay as high as they are, those winds out of the northeast are bringing over just a little bit of moisture. We have enough moisture at the surface to support some of these showers. They don't let it was pouring here for about 30 seconds and then everything kind of calmed down. Nuisance downpours and quick moving showers across the region. This will be the same case again for tomorrow. So if you do get stuck under a rain shower, Hold on, shouldn't ruin the entire day. Might get a couple of things wet, but it will be over within about 10 minutes at most. The winds today were gusting up to about 25 miles per hour. That again will be the case for tomorrow. Temperatures aren't going to fluctuate too much. They're just running a few degrees above average. We don't really have any strong cold fronts headed away, but we still have this strong wind uh, for another day or so. By tomorrow around lunchtime, then things will pick up and we'll have that 20 to 25 mile per hour wind for tomorrow once again, still out of the northeast. So when you have that wind coming across the state, it's the other side of the state that picks up a little bit more rain. That's that onshore wind pattern that they have. For us, a few isolated showers that kind of make their way and continue to cross the state uh, in its journey, but then they kind of fade away as they get closer to the coastline. So any rain chances that we do have over the next five days, one, they're not great, and two, they're really on the other side and into the center of the state. Here's what to expect rain-wise for tomorrow. Very similar Similar to today, isolated downpours across the region briefly. Chances are no greater than 20%, and that's even kind of a, a large percentage from what it will actually end up being. For Wednesday, same story, but a little bit closer to Sarasota and points north. Temperatures right now comfortable, 81 degrees in Labelle, 82 for Cape Coral. And then for the evening tonight, we'll stay into the low 70s by first thing tomorrow morning, 71. So a few upper 60s for areas inland, but that's only a few degrees above average. 88 for tomorrow, that's warm, but the humidity is manageable. It's not uncomfortable, but it's there. I think you can notice it during the early morning or the late evening break. As we go through the next seven days, we'll stay at 20% chance of rain for Friday. Wednesday and Thursday look rather dry. All right, that's a look at your first alert forecast. I'm going to send it over to What's on Rob's Radar.